Hi guys, this is Dan from The Investment ABC, your guide to financial freedom. And in this video, I want to talk about the latest developments of TED. Since the last private placement of a group of Chinese investors led by Debbie Cheng, the stock slowly declined from around $3.80 Canadian cents to around $2.88 Canadian cents in the last week. Debbie Chang got her shares at a price of 3 Canadian dollars, so potential buyers wanted to wait to see the 3 Canadian dollars mark before buying in. Furthermore, there is the possibility that Debbie has sold shares instantly into the market to recoup her initial investment, driving the stock lower to her $3 mark and shaking out weak hands. At around 3 Canadian dollars and below, she might have slowly accumulated her shares back and put a floor on the stock price. Since the volume is slow with the TED stock, um, this uh, would have been very easy to do in my opinion. This is just a suspicion and I have no evidence if this was the case, but it seems logical to me. Maybe I would have done the same thing, so I don't know, I can just speculate here. In the last two days, the stock price jumped violently back from under 3 Canadian dollars to currently $3.61. This jump in stock price was due to the latest announcements. The first one was on the, on the 12th of November, which did not have a lot of influence on the price, but it was a very important announcement. The company was shipping pallets to new distributors in California. The company acknowledged the importance of the state and that they want to establish itself there very quickly. On the 26th of November, on Friday, the company announced that TED has become an official supplier of HT Hackney, one of the largest US wholesale distributors with revenues of 3.9 billion US dollar and a network of more than 20,000 retail locations in 22 states. HD Hackney ordered 1,000 cartons of TED to place them in 168 Parma stores that operate numerous points of sale in Ohio, West Virginia and Pennsylvania, including convenience stores and gas stations under national banners such as Amco British Petroleum, Shell and Sanoco. This news could be very significant for TED since HD Hackney has 20,000 retail stores. TED only sold 1,000 cartons so far, but if the product is selling well in these first 168 initial stores, TED could be placed in many more of its stores soon after. We have to see and wait how the new recon material sells since we had similar news with Edco and Crossmark. In a past interview, SETI said that Edco's customers asked for an improvement of the product, so the company came up with the recon material. We just have to be patient here and observe um, how the sales are going. What I really like is this part of the news. TED and HT Hackney are presently coordinating in-store activation strategies with an objective of converting smokers H21 Plus from purchasing tobacco cigarettes to purchasing TED Original Smooth or Menthol instead of Parma stores. To me, it sounds like HD Hackney has a big interest that TED is going to be successful in its stores. This is most likely due to better margins for the retailers with TED compared to traditional tobacco cigarettes. Another interesting part of the news is that Sadi Coscarella, chief executive officer of TED, commented, We have been in discussions with HD Hackney for some time now and we are most pleased to have signed a distribution contract with them after demonstrating the consistent product quality of TED, impressive results from laboratory tests and our ability to reliably fill large orders on a regular basis. This was the first time that it was mentioned that the product was tested in the laboratory by customers and that the tests were very positive. This is very encouraging for all those investors that were worried about safety issues due to pesticides, for example. The most recent announcement dropped yesterday. TED will sponsor Wall Street Bets to the Moon Party in Miami on the 30th of November. This is a very clever chess move from SETI in my opinion. I think ever since it got into the media that Keith Gill had TED scribbled on his notes, SETI wanted to get in contact with Wall Street Bets to promote the stock and its company. If TED really gets to a GameStop or AMC status with retail investors, the whole financial industry will know the TED brand. 
Many would try their product and potentially invest in the company. It would be way easier for Ted to raise additional capital at a very lucrative price. Retail investors alone could propel the price up to over 1 billion market cap without any fundamental reasons in no time. Ted has a good chance, in my opinion, to be extremely popular with retail investors. The story is easy to understand and, to be honest, who doesn't like big tobacco losing? What is the most noteworthy part of the news is the comment by one of the founders of Wall Street Bets. Wall Street Bets founder Jaime Rogosinski added, I'm very impressed with Ted and what they're doing. They're coming into a market dominated by large, well-established tobacco companies and turning it upside down. Their innovative approach is disrupting the status quo and the market appears to be rewarding them. Within six months of listing, TED was added to the Canadian Securities Exchange Composite Index as well as its CSE25 subset as one of the 25 largest composite firms by market capitalization. Industries are changing at record pace these days and it's clear to me that tobacco is next on the chopping block. As such, I'm happy to see TED is leading the charge in reshaping the market. I will personally be looking forward to hosting an unscripted live interview with the TED management team in the coming weeks, which we believe will be of interest to our loyal Wall Street Bets followers. In my opinion, this interview will take place shortly after a Nasdaq uplisting and could be a huge catalyst for the stock price. If TED further shows with strong numbers quarter over quarter that its products are selling and that it can grow exponentially, it could get a similar status as Tesla, in my opinion, where everybody wants to have at least a couple of shares of the company. But for this to happen, the company needs first to finally uplist to Nasdaq, since many investors can't buy OTC stocks. Secondly, the company needs to keep the momentum high after the uplisting with constant good news um, announcements and beating the guidance quarter over quarter. Let's see if TED can be one of the best performing stocks in 2022. I am confident in the company and SETI's vision to sell TED everywhere around the globe at some point in the future. Like I said many times previously, the tobacco market is one of the biggest markets in the world with almost $1 trillion and TED needs to just gain a fraction of the market share. Furthermore, TED's gross margins are extremely high with 60-65%, to 65%, which will produce rather quick free cash flow the company can use to increase marketing efforts, to increase brand recognition and ultimately the revenue. The company is forecasting single-digit revenue for 2021, double-digit for 2022 and triple-digit revenue by the end of 2023. Triple digit revenue by 2023 would catapult the stock price to above $10, in my opinion. Investors can measure the company's success according to their own guidance. So far, Ted is doing a great job and working hard to get the product into more and more stores. I would love to see an update on the store locator very soon. The only reason why Ted might be hesitant on doing so would be investors calling the stores and asking how Ted is selling, which could be very annoying for the shops. But whatever the reason for not updating the store count is, the company should tackle this issue. Furthermore, the Nasdaq listing um, didn't also happen as of now, although the application according to Ted was in April. I can imagine that Nasdaq had some issues with the application and told SETI to fix it. I can only speculate here what Nasdaq wants to see. Maybe more testing on the product. Maybe they did not like the way Ted was releasing news every week, no matter how small the news were. Whatever the reason is, Ted will most likely receive the green light at some point in my opinion. One last thing I need to tell you guys is that we are entering a phase with extra high volatility in the stock market. In my opinion, investors who are just buying ETFs and don't follow the stocks will underperform significantly compared to those investors that are being selective in the stock picks. Do your own research as good as possible and try to know the companies you invest in also as good as possible. If you observe a stock for long enough, you also get used to the trading patterns. This way, you are not get shaken out of your core positions once the market really starts to tank. Instead, you can even dollar cost average in a relaxed way. 
If you like this video and are also a TED shareholder, smash the like button to support the channel, spread the word and um, subscribe for more updates on TED and other individual stock picks. Bye guys and see you in the next one.